Hey everyone, my name is Brace. I'm an engineer here at Langchain, and today I'm doing a quick video showing you how to get structured output um, and do extraction on audio and video inputs using Gemini's Google Gem Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro API. Um, they released this yesterday. They brought out a preview, so now anybody who has um, a, you know Google Vertex AI account can send audio and video input files to their API. Um, and use Google's function calling along with that. So we've added this support in Langchain, um, and we have two examples right now. Uh, one which sends a video. Um, it's I took a screen recording of another engineer, Lance. He did a video on data sets in Langsmith. Um, I screen recorded that at 1.5 speed, so it's a little more sped up than normal, um, and sent it to Gemini's API, um, provided a function call as well, and then asked for structured output. Um, and the second example is using a Mozart song, also with a function call, and uh, we're asking for structured output on the different instruments. So we have a use case page up for this with some background. Um, quick, to quickly go over the code, we can see that we're using... Okay, so we have some files inside the examples directory of the Langchain JS repo. Um, one is the Lance Langsmith eval video, and the other is the Mozart um, video or the Mozart audio in MP4 and MP3. Uh, the Gemini API, Gemini API and Langsmith allow you to either pass in base64, like we do in this example, um, or you can pass in a uh, file URI to any file hosted within the same Google Cloud uh, account that your API is on. And that way you don't have to convert to base64 and send over these massive payloads. Um, but to, to go over the code here, we're defining a quick small little util function called file to base64. Uh, it takes in a file path, calls fs, um, and now that I'm reading this, we can actually improve this by just saying base64 and return that. And I think that should work the same. There we go, okay, so um, we'll re read the file and we set the return type to be base64 and return it. Uh, and then we define a variable with the path um, to the video and a variable which is actually extracting the base64 from that file. Uh, we then define our, our function call. Um, we're going to be using the with structured output method in Langchain. So all that means is we need to define a super simple Zod schema. Uh, here we define our tool. It's an object with, with one key value pair of tasks. Tasks is an array of strings. We see that we the, the description of this task um, key value pair is a list of tasks. We then instantiate our model, pass in the model name, Gemini 1.5 Pro, uh, preview 090409, and a temperature of zero just to keep things consistent, and make sure to chain with structured output, pass in our tool, and then our tool name. Um, and this will return a runnable, uh, which essentially takes in any input that we may have defined, and it sets the output to be whatever our Zod schema was. Uh, so next, in order to use the audio and video API in Langchain.js, you're going to want to define your chat prompt template and then use a messages placeholder. Uh, and this allows us to pass in an, any message when we invoke the model. Um, sorry, any human, AI, whatever message. In this case, we're using human messages. Um, and then the content field of our messages, we can see is of type message content. And if we inspect that, we can see that it allows for any object along with the different text and image um, types. So because of that we can pass in type media and then so for Gemini API you need to define type media and here you can pass in then videos, video files or audio and then the next two fields um, are defined by the Gemini API so they take in a MIME type and a data field. The MIME type is video mp4 for this or audio mp3 for audio um, and the data is going to be the base64 string of our video or audio. Um, and then the next object in this array of content is just a little bit of prompting. We're going to say, you know, the video, the following is a video overview of how to build data sets in Langsmith. Given the following video, come up with three tasks I should do to further improve my knowledge around data sets in Langsmith. Only reference features that are outlined described in the video, and then we define some rules saying, you know, use this tool, uh, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then we can invoke the response. So I can go run this real quick, just to show it off. We can go into the examples directory and then 
start this. Um, and then this API does take a considerable amount of time. Um, granted, it, we're sending a large 20 megabyte you know, video to um, an LLM, so it's going to take a while. But I guess while this happens, we can go and read the code for the audio. Um, as we can see, it's pretty much the exact same. Um, I'm noticing a bug right now where I define my tool to be task. This should be instruments. And then same, you know, array of string, a list of instruments um, found in the audio. This is interesting though, because I did run this with tasks. And even though I had mis mis misnamed this tool, it was able to use the tool properly and return the right instruments, even though the key was tasks on instruments. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, it works about the same with structured output, messages placeholder, define the type as media, and then audio MP3, and then the base64 encoded audio file. Um, and then a little different prompt, because we're just saying, here's a Mozart song, give me the instruments that you hear in the song. If we go back, this should finish, and there we go. We see that it logged um, some structured output that matches our tool schema. Um, and with some nice tasks, which we can then go do to improve our knowledge around data sets in evals and Langsmiths. Um, so now that we've updated our SOG schema in audio to use instruments instead of tasks, we can execute this. Um, and it should be a little bit quicker than the video file. One, it's not as large of um, a base 64 string we're sending over. Um, and then I'm assuming it's a lot easier on Google side to compute because um, it's like something like 20 times cheaper to run than the audio. So here we go. Um, and look at that. We see it since we named it instruments, it seems to have given us many more instruments than before. Um, and that's interesting. I wonder if that's because we changed the name to be instruments or something else. Uh, but yeah, gave us a bunch of, bunch of in instruments. I definitely recognize a few of these did actually exist in the song uh, when I Googled it. Those instruments, did, some of those instruments did come up, like the double bat, bass, uh, violin, and whatnot. Um, and yeah, that's how you can use Gemini's new audio or video and function calling API with Langchain.js and structured output to extract whatever you want from any type of uh, media type now. So that means that Gemini now supports function calling with images, text, audio, and video, um, which is impressive and pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to go read more, the doc is docs slash use cases slash media, which I'll also link in the uh, description. And yeah.